Hi, Room 2. I'm here to talk about the letter of the week. This week, our letter is the letter C. You can make a C with your hands. Act like you're taking, going to take a drink of water and grab a cup, pretend cup, and look, you have the letter C. The uppercase C and the lowercase C really look the same. The lowercase is just smaller and you make them the same way. You must start at the top, down and around, and stop. Don't claw all the way and close it up or it'd be an O, right? C sounds like K, like car, carrot, cookie, cat. I'm gonna read you a few books that have the word with the letter C in it. So this book is called Mrs. McTath and Her House Full of Cats. And it's written by Alyssa Cappuccini and Joan Rankin is the illustrator. In a small cozy cottage lived Mrs. McTatz. She lived all alone except for one cat. Let's see, I want to make sure you can see the page. Every morning she left as the clock struck eight. To market, to market, I mustn't be late. She browsed through the market and chose a plump fish. For Abner and me, what a sumptuous dish. But when she got home, there came a scratch on the door, and in walked two cats. Was there room for two more? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I'm sure I've got room for just two more cats. I'll call you Basil and Curly. You'll be. I only had one cat, but now I have three. The very next morning, Mrs. Tat McTats woke early. She stopped to pet Abner and Basil and Curly. To market, to market, I mustn't be late. This chicken, I think, will surely taste great. But when she got home, there came a scratch on the door and in walked three cats. Was there room for three more? Come in, my sweet dears, said Mrs. McTads. I think I've got room for just three more cats. Now give me a moment. What shall your names be? Your Dolly, your Ernest, and Fuzzy makes three. The very next morning, off went Mrs. McTats. What can I buy for my six hungry cats? I've got it, she said. I'll make a nice stew. So she carried home beef and liver to brew. But back at home, there came a scratch on the door and in walked four cats. Was there room for four more? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I know there's a place for just four more cats. Ten's a fine number, ten cats and me. I'll call you Goldie and Herman you'll be. Izzy and Jezebel pranced across the floor and then right behind them followed five more. Coco and Linus, Millie, Noreen, and you shall be Oscar. There, that makes 15. The very next day, off went Mrs. McTats. What can I possibly feed 15 cats? She chose a fresh tuna. 
she chose a fine trout. But when she got home, her cats were all out. She counted her cats from 1 to 15, but somehow six more cats had just joined the scene. Come, come, my sweet dear, said Mrs. Mittats. I'm sure I have plenty for 21 cats. Pip, Quip, and Rosebud, Sally and Tozy, Ursula, dear, do make yourself cozy. But then came another scratch at the door. Could it be more cats? How many more? In came Violet, in came Winnie, and just behind a kitten, she named Zinny. In came Yodel, the last of the bunch, 25 cats ready for lunch. But something was missing. What could it be? Just was what it was, Mrs. McTats could not see. As she stood there puzzling, there was a scratch on the door, and Mrs. McTats wondered, could there really be more? Could she squeeze in more cats? More than 25? Who was the one who was next to arrive? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I live in this cottage with 25 cats. But if you don't mind, you're welcome to stay. You're welcome to eat. You're welcome to play. Now in that small cottage lived Mrs. McTats, all happy and cozy with her 25 cats and one little puppy who's known as Zoom in a small cozy cottage with plenty of room. And just when the clock strikes eight, strikes each morning at eight, Mrs. McTats hurries off. I mustn't be late to market to market. What treats will there be for 26 sweet dears from A to Wow, Mrs. McTats loved those cats, didn't she? And cats start with what letter? C. Hope you enjoyed the book.